Now on RTE1, Vinny tells a few fibs and Craig's past comes back to haunt him in Shortland Street. Don't tell me, I'm sorry. Are you saying he killed Jeff Greenhall? I did it for Delphi. No. Dominic Thompson died today. And before he died, he confessed to killing Jeff. Victor's coming home. Oh my. <laughs> Yesterday he clarified a few things for me. Will you please marry me? We could have a family. Okay. Are you looking for my dad, Craig Valentine? No. No, I'm looking for the Allens. Craig, I've, I've come to talk to you about... Don't. Just turn around. Go away. And you stay the hell away from me and my kids. Did you find the people you're looking for? Yes, I did. Scarlet? Mum? Hey, wait, you don't have to go. I think it might be best. You're damn right. No! You can't make her! Not this time! You're not driving her away again. It's okay, Jake. I'm leaving. Then I'm coming with you. No! Jake, you can stop me. I don't want you to come with me. I need to talk to your father first. After 12 years, I don't think so. Here's where I'm staying. Please call me. Will you go now, please? Okay. I will call you. Later, Jake. I'm hoping we can have some time together. You're too scarlet. I want you to go. Please call me. It's important. You are unbelievable. Shut up, Jake. Yeah, that's it. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to us. Way to go, Craig. A Christmas carol, an excellent choice. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like an awful lot of work to me. Hey, let's get out the video tonight and we can get into the spirit, so to speak. Okay. I'll bring the popcorn. Hey, did you hear um, Dom's funeral's being held in town? Well, I'd like to go to support Tony, but I'd have to take a day off work. I wouldn't cross the road for it. Hey, I'm not the only one around here who's glad he's dead. You uh, don't happen to have a paper, do you, wife? Only the boring bits, I think. Uh, sports and real estate. Perfect. Whoa, who's house hunting? I am. What? You're not giving up that lovely apartment. Well, the bachelor pants are pretty. <laughs> It's past its use-by date. Uh, Tony and I are looking for a place together. Well, well, I'd never have picked you two as flatmates. Mind you, it makes sense as far as Harry's concerned, I suppose. Uh, we're getting married. Are we? You're not. We are. You don't need the dark horse. Congratulations, I think it's great news. No offence intended, but why now? Oh, you know, Christmas, family time. And since we're having another baby. What? You've done it again? And we couldn't be happier. Well, I spoke to Vic's lawyer today. Any good news? No, nothing about a release date. Oh, you know, they locked Vic up for months for a crime that he didn't commit. And then they get a confession from the real killer, and what do they do? They sit on their backsides talking about following procedure. You sound pretty fierce. Yeah, well, whatever, somebody. He should be here with us right now. Yeah, soon, Mum. I mean, they got to let him out for Christmas and the wedding. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on it, son. Hi. Mm. Hello, you. Mm. Ooh, that smells good. Do you want a hand? Ah, oh, no. Hey, I'm um, giving my hand with the table. Oh, no, I've um, just about finished here. After spuds. I don't understand. Why is... Why has she come back now? What does she want? To get us back, stupid. I very much doubt that. How would you know? You won't even hear what she's got to say. Well, I'm going to. No. You heard what she said. She wants to speak to me first. But you won't even listen to her. Yes, I will. When I am ready. Well, that's not good enough. Tough. 
Where are you going? To my room. I'm allowed to be in my room, I know. Is she really, really that awful? I've never run her down to you kids before and I'm not going to start now. I just don't think she's got any right to suddenly become part of your life. Fine by me. Didn't like her much anyway. Vinny! <clears throat> the auditions. They're coming along. I haven't seen any posters up anyway. Well, they're around. It's just hard to audition without a script. You do your bit, and I'll do mine. Uh, I will have something for you by the end of the day. All right, gotta run. Hand over. You big fella. Hey? No audition posters. No one's talking about it. You haven't done anything, have you? Yeah, well, I talked it up with the nurses. They're just bailing on me. What's the problem? No great roles for women. Don't punish yourself, man. Stop looking. I don't get it. Couldn't I do that in the car park? Are you kidding? Walking her into work, fine. Coming all the way inside, it's just clingy. Now, yeah, well, you don't hear my complaining, do you? You're coming to what? Uh, okay, take Mr. Phillips in recess. Chest pain's waiting on drop T levels. Sure, I can keep you company while the results come down. Or I could triage that mob out of chairs. Oh, that's what we have nurses for. Uh, Mrs. Ashley, cubicle two, suspected cholecystitis. Right. And if you need to send her up to a surgical ward, make sure you document the request and the time of referral in her notes. Um, any particular reason? Keeping track. The Reg was in theatre most of yesterday. We had his admission stacked in the halls. Just do what I do. Send him up to the ward on a verbal. Thanks for your input. Document the request and wait till the Reg can do a full admission. I'll keep my suggestions to myself in future. That would be much appreciated. Since it seems I have to explain my every move, we are having an ongoing problem with surgical admissions. If we don't document, we can't hold them accountable. I'll check back in as soon as I've confirmed, Mrs. Ashley. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to second guess me on? Uh, anything I can do to help? Put a muzzle on pots. Oh. Craig Gill, I need to see you upstairs. Not right now, I'm busy. Just a quick review of this month's acute admission stats. Oh, fine, OK. Never mind the fact we've got patients leaking bodily fluids all over the nice clean floors. Let's duck up to your office and chew over the numbers. It was a simple request. Yeah, very simple. Well, if they're that keen, I can drop the keys off on my way to work and they can check it out. OK, thanks. Bye. Apparently, I am in possession of one of Ferndale's hot properties. Mm. Which means a quick sale, no bridging finance on uh, whatever takes our fancy. Seen anything else in there you like? Not really. What's up? I'm just not really in house hunting mode. Sorry. Too much too soon. I should just let you get over Dom's funeral first, eh? Can you imagine what my mother's going to be like? Dom was always the golden boy, no matter what he did. She'd probably rather she was burying me. Are you sure you don't want me to go down with you? It's not too late. No. That wouldn't be fair on you. I have Nairi asking all sorts of questions. I don't think she needs to know that you're going to be her new son-in-law. She will eventually. Not yet. But thank you. We're in this together. And wouldn't everyone at work like to know what this is? They're convinced we're only getting married because I'm locked up. As if they haven't got enough to gossip about with Dom. Does it bother you, what they think? I know it shouldn't. 